country roads Take me home to the place I belong The apocalypse is here, and what I mean by that is Bethesda has once again pulled off the impossible. Yet another controversy nearly a year after the release of the buggiest piece of crap developed by the company. DualShock has reported the following. The United States Consumer Product Safety Commission has issued a recall for the wearable helmet that was sold exclusively by GameStop. Those who purchased this would have been an owner of the wearable T-51 Power Armor helmet, as seen in the game itself. Why would the US Consumer Product Safety Commission issue a recall like that? You see, the polyester cotton blend fabric insert inside it is prone on getting moldy. A perfect, fantastic environment for, you guessed it, mold! Really? Mold? Has Bethesda learned nothing from the string of physical merchandise controversies they've faced over the last year? Might I add, their virtual merchandise has come under its fair share of flack. It was jackets first, then it was canvas bags, and now it's expensive, mouldy collector's edition helmets. 20,000 of them recalled. I'm having a hard time taking all these accidental screw-ups as mere inadequacy. Whoever's in charge of physical merch, however many people might be in charge, they're insufferably incompetent, trying to cut all the wrong corners and every one of them to slash costs and increase earnings. Little doubt about that. They're splitting airs. And this time they could have seriously harmed someone. Thankfully they didn't. But they could have. The recall listing says it succinctly enough. Mold can be present on the fabric insert inside the helmet, posing a risk of respiratory or other infections in individuals with compromised immune systems damaged lungs, or an allergy to mould. What's next? Fallout 76 gun replicas loaded with actual bullets? At this point, I don't think anyone with a grain of grey matter between their ears trusts Bethesda as far as they can punch them. Shame that. The company was beloved once upon a time. But they have somehow burned through every last grain of player goodwill left over from Skyrim and Fallout 3. Nah. Oh, I know how. It's through the unfathomable greed and lack of any semblance of ethical behaviour. And Todd Howard's extreme, inexplicable turn to round the pitchfold level bullshitting. But hey, at least the helmets look cool, right? <laughs>